All right, guys, uh, another day on the plot again today. Um, come down here, um, just see what I can get done, to be honest with you. Um, with my foxes, I keep having my flower bed. Keep crawling on it, as you can tell. All the footprints everywhere, look. Every day, that is. If anyone's got any ideas or suggestions on how best to deter foxes, please let me know in the comments below. We appreciate it. Um, today, I've managed to get 50... Uh, onions in I've got some well of an equal amount obviously um, of the golds the whites and the reds I think golds are in here whites are in the middle reds are on the end I've deliberately left a gap just here because something will be planted in there but probably well obviously next May June um, I'll be putting something in there, so there's a deliberate reason why I've got that, left, that gap at the side and squeeze these together. I'm not too bothered about big massive onions. Um, obviously I told you guys before in regards to, uh, not this end, the other bit, um, but obviously I did say I'd have it done in about two, three weeks. So this is what I'm to so far. Can't say, let me try and get in the right sunlight, can't say it's been an easy task. Um, especially moving that mound because that mound if you look in the previous video was just here um, so yeah I managed to shift all that started leveling all this ground off um, there will be another step but nothing too major not as like, big as that one just a slight step so I can level all that top layer off there I've got some wood logging stuff to go all the way across here um, it's just old old pieces to be honest with you so bit of a rusticy kind of effect kind of 21st century or you know, whatever else whatever else um so yeah but obviously i've got a little bit more to take out of this bit i've got to get that sapling out which is a pain in the backside um well, it's been on here years now um so yeah i've got obviously this bit i've got to take quite a bit out of because from the other end of the plot it don't look too uh, clever um but yeah and the other thing as well people were uh, we're saying about the depth i've had people comment in the past regarding like the depth of my beds and all that when you are seeing this picture or well, when you do see these pictures or see these videos don't worry i'm not going for the no dig method because i'm not personally into that myself um each to their own it's a you know everything's very opinionated in the gardening world really um but what i actually do with this membrane is i use another off cut deck like you know from what i've got here and I'll basically lay that across here. I use a knife, chop all this out, um, all the way around, all the way around the edge. So basically I'm left with like a two, three inch thingy all the way across. And what I do is I fold that up to the sides. Cause then when I dig the soil underneath and raise the soil underneath, it's basically pinning this to the sides of here. As you can tell via the base of there, the stones are all falling into the bed. Um, the bed is obviously level because I've used a spirit level um, but obviously you get stuff like that so having it well, basically pinned back this bit pinned back up to here it stops that gravel falling into your uh, into your bed um, and then obviously alright fair enough what's under here ain't going to fluff up enough so I will be using a couple of barrows of that because if I remember right when I done that one um, I used about two three possibly four wheelbarrows um, to, to basically fill that one slightly but there's probably about a spade and a half depth in that bed so the depth is not an issue at all um, I'm not you know like I say it's no not I'm not doing the no dig method um, I still dig it every year it's as simple as that because it's best way forward if you ask me um, obviously yeah so once I've lifted them sides up I then line it I've got some waterproof um, membrane um, which is obviously what I've used on my raised beds which is to line and protect the wood a little bit better um yeah i mean it's not it's not going to make the wood last forever wood's wood it's going to rot eventually um but keep treating it and do what you can to prevent it and it's always going to happen so yeah so basically it'll be all black lined off fluffed up and then i'll have, add a few barrows of that into here um and then obviously that's my other bed done um but yeah obviously i've done my onions today like i say um I know people are probably thinking, what are all them little white dots inside? It's not the onion, um, it's little label, uh, label tabs. Um, but I wanted to put in, because I, well, I like to identify, uh, it's probably an inch away from that is the onion itself. Um, so yeah, I'll just mark it out, because then obviously if one or two don't come through, I've got a couple of spares of each, so I'll pop them in just after. I hate gaps, I'm really funny with gaps, but hey, you know, you can't win them all. 
so yeah um it's only a quick one today guys a uh, bit of a shorter video but yeah so hopefully the next video i upload i'm hoping i'll have all of this like lined off um and i'll be implementing before 6b3s i believe or 6b2s one there one there one up there one up there path down the middle up to another section and then obviously like i said to you already on previous video um obviously i don't know where really i'm going with that end just yet um starting to think possibly like you know herb tubs things like that um and yeah it's like a herb garden and such but little pots and you know bits and bobs because i do like my herbs uh can't be a bit of basil and mint and whatever else mint i know you have to be very careful with always pot with them because the buggers they really are especially the wild mint um but yeah so yeah it's slowly coming on um ones that you're wondering why i've left that log there it's just because the lady who's next door she's very she's not very good balance bless her um she's had a few falls recently um i was i was actually down here a couple of weeks ago with my partner and my partner was like sitting there and i was painting the shed and missus went oh babe like kind of thing and yeah looked around and she'd unfortunately uh face planted the floor but she's you know they're in the 70s 80s whatever it is and they're still going strong um so yeah fair oh good grief woodpecker <laughs> hello <laughs> scared the life out of me i don't know if you heard that on the camera but <laughs> um but yeah so yeah it's, it's slowly coming along i know the obviously the nets are not the prettiest of things but uh as you know yourself so you've got to protect your onion sets from the uh, birds squirrels whatever else foxes i said foxes love to dig bulbs up around here for some unknown reason um so yeah onwards and upwards guys to be honest with you um like I say, next couple of weeks, hopefully you'll see a bit more of a dramatic change up this end, and I can start opening more beds up and getting things, you know, basically how I want them to look, really. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of like I keep looking at them blue raised beds all the way across, thinking, oh, it's going to be so much hard work digging them all out and stuff. But I've got to think for myself, you know, it'll be worth it. Definitely be worth it. So, um, but yeah, like I say any suggestions and stuff like leave in the comments because i'm up for any kind of ideas on you know what I could do things like that so more ideas thrown at me the better um fortunately at the minute my drill's being a bit funny on me the batteries don't seem to be holding so at the minute i might have to struggle by doing these beds by hand um it's a bit of a pain um i haven't got the finances at the minute to be uh, buying a new drill um so yeah so we'll just see how things go and uh, i'll update you again very soon guys um, but thanks for all your comments and uh, feedback and stuff over the past on previous videos and uh, photos I've shared. But uh, happy gardening guys and I'll uh, see you soon with the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.